Hey, Jarek here, and this is the Nerf Mastodon. Yeah, it's pretty big. This is another one of those blasters that isn't new. I think it came out in like 2016. But given how ridiculous it is, I just had to buy one for myself. So what is this? Well, it's a mega flywheeler. Yeah, that pretty much explains everything. And you're intended to hip fire it like Rambo. Out of the box, it's gonna come with a ton of plastic parts like this handle to click on and these two side pieces. Don't worry about it, you'll figure it out without even looking at the guide. It requires six D cell batteries, which are different than C cell batteries, even though they look the same and that gets put into this battery compartment right over here. This little plastic piece on the bottom is more important than you think because if you want to set this down and shoot, well, that has to rotate, so it needs to be down on something, otherwise this would be blocked. As for looks, this is a very interesting, distinct looking blaster. I mentioned how big it is and yeah, that's true, but Nerf decided to opt into the only paint one side idea. I don't know why they keep doing this. It saves them, what, like a nickel? Like, come on, Nerf, just paint both sides. This side looks amazingly bland. Also inside of the box is going to come with a sling, and this is actually a pretty decent sling. These mounts are very secure, and I don't see this breaking on you. If you've ever been in the airsoft, whenever something comes with a sling, it's usually garbage, but that's not the case here. These are pretty good, and you are probably going to want to use them. There is a sling mount up front here, and a sling mount just above the grip in the back. Also inside of the box, obviously, will come with 24 Mega Darts. These are the original Mega Darts, the ones that whistle through the air and not AccuStrikes. There is a reason I mentioned that. Let's go to testing these darts. Out of the 24 darts in here, 10 are AccuStrike darts. The rest are just regular Mega Darts that this came with. I'm just gonna full auto mag dump this down the hallway and if what I've heard is to be believed, the AccuStrike darts should be much, much more accurate. But we should be able to see just by firing right in front of the camera. Yeah, 100%. The Mega Darts kind of just went every direction, but the AccuStrike darts went pretty straight. Something else very important to mention with these darts is that the regular Mega Darts fall out of this way too easy. If I just tilt this forward, yeah, a few fell out right there, some other are kind of falling forward, usually more fall out than that, but you get the point. They're not entirely secure into the blaster, and this is more of an issue than just losing your darts, because if this is pushed forward, at all, that blocks the drum from moving. And it doesn't have to be pushed forward much at all. These AccuStrike darts though, I never had that issue with these. These stay in place like they should. When I cornered this blaster, it got around 70 FPS, which is kind of insane for a stock Nerf Mega Blaster. AccuStrike's got around the same FPS, if anything, losing like two FPS, basically a negligible difference. Now with everything I've said, you might just think I would tell you to just use the AccuStrike darts. Performance-wise, they're objectively big improvements. They stay in the blaster better, they shoot straighter overall, they're just straight up better. But I'm actually not going to do that, because I feel like these are better for performance, but the regular Mega Darts are more fun. Yeah, they suck in every other way, but them whistling through the air is just funny. It is comical to have 24 of these things, just one after another, whistling through the air. So if fun is your main goal, you'll probably stick to these. But if you're not an idiot like me and you actually want your blaster to work as intended, I would recommend AccuStrikes. Or you can just alternate so you still get the whistling and the accuracy of your blaster in full auto. This blaster is one that is definitely intended for older kids, probably older teenagers, or even maybe full grown men. It is not the heaviest thing I've ever picked up, but for a kid, there's no way they are carrying this for any day. I mean, this thing would be as tall as some children. And it's definitely pretty heavy for what it is. One last thing that is really important, I almost forgot to mention this. This unjamming door is really picky. It will disable the flywheels when it is open, but 
Yeah, sometimes even when it's closed, it still doesn't work. I actually thought mine was defective at first because I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. You just kind of have to... Just keep playing, just hold the, the rev switch down. There you go. You really have to fiddle around with it for a bit. It's very picky. So really, really important to know, your blaster is working perfectly fine. It's not broken, it's just the unjamming door being annoying. But other than that, I think that's it. I really don't think I have anything more to say about the Mastodon. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think having a flywheeler mega blaster is just a silly, dumb idea. I would actually love to see the hobbyist scene pick up mega darts and do more with flywheeler megas or, I mean, probably not AEGs. I don't see that ever happening. I, I don't think enough people care about these darts to make that, but really, Flywheeler Mega Blasters just almost don't exist. I would love to see more of them. Could you imagine like a Barrett 50 cal Mega Blaster? That'd be a lot of fun. Or maybe an incredibly high fire rate one. I don't know. I would just like to see more of them. I like odd projectiles. We see half length dart blaster after half length dart blaster and full length darts aren't very rare either. But we don't usually see rival rounds. We don't see Megas. We don't see Ultras. I know there's a bolt action sniper of this, and I do want one of those. It's a little pricey, so maybe one day, but not for now. My main point here is that our selection is limited for rounds that aren't just half-length darts. And I know those are the optimal ones. They work the best in games, but you know, I like some variety in my life. Getting very off topic though, yeah, even like however many years later after this came out, it's still worth your money. So let's shoot it.